This is Project Module 1, Excel, Joseph, Jeans, and more. Select the Profit Analysis Worksheet and add a header to the worksheet. Enter the text Joseph, Jeans, and more into the center section of the header. Okay, currently, it is in the Documentation Worksheet, so you need to click over here to get into the Profit Analysis Worksheet. Then you need to change the format to page layout. And this will enable you to be able to type in your Joseph Jeans and more into the center section of the header, which would be here. Click on any cell and switch back to the normal view. So we've gone now, we're back to normal view. Okay, enter the text Joseph Jeans and More into cell A1. So you're going to click into A1, which will make it active, and you're going to type in there Joseph's. Okay, so now we are in step three. Enter the text Profit Analysis in cell A2. So we're going to click in A2, and we're going to enter in Profit Analysis. So we just did that. Now in step four, we're going to in cell A3, it currently is reading 2010-2015 profit. And it wants us to change it to 2018 through 2020. So now it reads, Women's Clothing Store 2018-2020 Profit. Okay, in cell D10, enter the value of, so we're going to look for D10, click here, and we're entering in the number 42560. Now it says use the fill handle to fill the range E6 through E10. So here is E6 to E10. We're going to click in E5 and fill in with our little fill handle E10. Okay, now it says in cell B11, we're going to click here, in B11, enter the formula that uses the sum function to total the range. <clears throat> B5 through B10, use the fill handle to fill the range C11 through E11. So we're going to come up here to our auto sum. We're going to look for sum. And you'll notice that it puts in the formula for uh, the area except it's adding in B4, so we're going to change that. So and we're going to check mark, and we're going to use our fill handle to the right. All right. So in cell A13, click in it. It says it would like it to read 
Men's Clothing Store 2018-2020 Profit. So we're going to come up here and we're going to add 2018 through 2020 oh, Profit. And then when you click off that cell, it changes. Okay, so now we are into step nine. Enter the formula shown in the table one, which is right here. I'm sorry, the information shown in ranges B19 through D19. So we're going to look for B19. And we're going to enter in 38456. And then in C19, 39784. And in D19, 415. Okay. Joseph wants to see the total profit from each category of men's clothing sold between 2018 and 2020 in cell E15. So we're looking in E15. Enter a formula using the sum function to total the values in range B15 through D15. So he wants basically a total to go here. So we're going to add up this, this, and this. So once again, we're going to go to up to the top and go to Auto Sum. And it will give you dancing ants, which is what I call them, of the area that needs to be summed up. There you go. Then it wants us to fill handle E16 through E19, like that. There you go. Now in cell B20, I'm going to click in that and make it active. Okay, in cell B20, we're going to enter another a formula, a sum function or formula again to calculate. Um, we're going to add this up. It's going to give us a total here, and then we're going to pull it over, and it will give us a total for each column. So we're going to come up here to the Sum button again, and we need to select the information that we want to add up. We don't want to include the year. That would throw our number off. Click. And then you're going to use your fill handle to the right. Okay, now we are on step 12. Joseph wants to know the difference in total profits between his two stores. So in cell B24, I'm going to click in cell B24. Entered a formula that subtracts the value in B20 from the value of B11. So, uh, scroll up a little. B. Okay, so he wants to know what the difference basically is between this and this. So we're going to put a formula in. Anytime we have to put a formula or an equation in that is not um, available to us through the auto sum feature, we have to put a, a equal sign in. By putting an equal sign in, we are able to tell the spreadsheet that we are now going to enter in an equation. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it doesn't understand what we're asking it to do. So it wants us to take and subtract the information in B20. 
by the information in B11. Okay, it's giving us a negative, so we don't want that. So instead we're going to equals information in B11 minus the information in B20. There we go. So the difference is $3,600 or $1,000, and we're going to go all the way to the right. Okay, hide the grid lines from the profit analysis. Once again, we're still in profit analysis. So we're going to come up here to view, and we're going to get rid of the grid lines by checking on this, or deselecting the checks box here. And then change the orientation of the worksheet to landscape. That is in page layout, and under orientation, we are going to change it to landscape. Okay, we're going to save it. And now we are done.